Okay, in this next question, we're gonna talk about percentage leases and how we figure them out. Usually percentage leases are utilized by malls, uh, commercial properties and that type of thing. What they try to do is they try to capitalize a little bit on um, the amount of products that are sold by their tenants. In addition to the base rent, they will charge uh, a percentage on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this question. Um, this is a question you'll see on the state exam. It'll be very close to it. The numbers obviously will be different, but if you stay with the steps, you'll be able to figure it out very easily. A retail business rents a space in the mall. The lease calls for a base lease of $2,000 per month, plus an additional 5% of the annual gross sales that exceed 300,000. Now, 300,000 in this case is gonna be our threshold of what they're gonna want. Um, they're gonna want money for that over that $300,000. Okay, they're gonna want 5%. If the annual gross sales are $450,000 a month, what is the total annual rent for the business? Okay, so they're looking for annual rent. What is the total annual rent? So if we go over here, let's just plug in this. Let's go to step one. We want to begin by determining how much of the gross sales are subject to the 5% charge. Now we know that we have $300,000. That's going to be the threshold. Anything over that amount, um, they're going to want the 5%. If you make uh, $299,000 uh, in, in gross sales, they're not going to worry about that. They want everything that's over the 300000 So in this case, we look over here and we see that the business had a good year and it made $450,000. So to figure that out, all we do is we take the $450,000 right here, we minus the $300,000, okay, which is the threshold. And that means this year, this business is subject to $150,000 in additional rent above and beyond the, the regular annual rent. And that additional rent is gonna be at 5%. So you take that 150 and multiply it by the 5%. So let's go ahead and go to step two and do this. Okay, so we look at step two, we wanna multiply the amount subject to the 5%. So we already determined that the, the 150,000, okay, is right here. And we wanna take that and very easily multiply it by 5%, which is 0 0.05, which is gonna give us a total of $7,500. That's gonna be the additional annual amount that we have to pay above and beyond the base rent, okay? So with that being said, let's go to step three. And we wanna just take step three, we wanna add the additional rent, we know it's $7,500, to the base rent, okay? The base rent. And that'll give us the total rent for the year. So to give you the base rent, all we need to do on that is very easily, we just take the $2,000 here, we multiply that by 12, and it gives us a total of $24,000, okay, $24,000, that's your base rent. So again, if we only had sales of $299,000, we would not have to pay any more than this $2,400, okay? So be careful with that on the state exam. Uh, has to only you only have to pay five percent in this case on what's above the three hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so what we do is we take the two thousand by twelve. It comes out to twenty four thousand. Okay, we got that, and then we take that rent and we add. We just add on the additional rent of seventy five hundred dollars, and that will give us. $31,500, and that's going to be our annual. Remember, they're looking for the annual. Okay, and that's all there is on this one.